Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Monday. 67 degrees here. Very foggy this morning, especially in Inland Collier. The fog was really thick east of Collier Boulevard. I was out there early this morning and you couldn't even see the street lights in some places, the fog was so thick. No fog out here on the beach though. Expecting a high of around 81 today. Right now we're at low tide. Walk down to the water. See if we see what we can find out there. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Our live feed works this morning. Yesterday we were having some issues with Facebook. Sprint and Facebook, both. Little bit of a breeze here. Sandpipers running around here in front of me. Jeez, look what somebody did here. What a bunch of dopes leaving a hole like this. I mean, that's, you gotta be a moron to dig a hole and leave it like that on the beach. I hope whoever did this is watching. You're in. That is so dangerous. Please, folks, come out here, let your kids have fun, dig all the holes they want, build all the sandcastles they want. Just fill in the holes before you leave the beach. That is ridiculous. That is huge. Oh, I see Barbara up the beach there. Way, way up there. Just a little speck. I see her pulling her little cart out with her shelves. Getting ready to set up. I don't know how much longer Barbara is going to be with us here. She's moving back up to Minnesota. Going to miss her. Barbara Grove, the shell lady. Oh, here's something neat. See if I can zoom in on them and show them to you. They're swimming offshore. We have some ducks out here. They just swim up and down the beach. I haven't seen them lately. This is the first I've seen them in a few, oh, in a couple months. Yeah, <laughs> up and down they go on the waves. Pretty cute. Couple pelicans sitting down here. 
just bobbing up and down. The ducks and the pelicans. Lots of different shorebirds here at Del Norwegens. Pelicans, seagulls, ospreys, sandpipers, skimmers, terns. Quite a large variety of birds to be seen here at Wiggins. Not seen a whole lot of shells here this morning. Cut across to the sandbar here. Sun hasn't quite made it up over the trees yet. Another few minutes. You can see it there peeking through the, the bushes. And beautiful reflections on the water. It's going to be a beautiful day here. It's supposed to clear up. You can see it's relatively clear, but there's some fog rolling through the area. Nice blue sky here looking to the north. water is just absolutely gorgeous crystal clear it's kind of hard to see without the sun up yet but you can look right down and see the bottom there you can see some of the smaller shells on the bottom absolutely gorgeous no red tide that's all gone thank goodness we were dealing with that for a couple weeks here pretty bad at times a lot of dead fish on the beach and they're all they've all been cleaned up. There's a little sunlight breaking through here. Beautiful morning. Boy, a lot of birds. 
calling out here this morning. pelicans they're so neat well I would love to see a dolphin come by here that would be fun to see a dolphin swim by this morning pretty calm out here Seeing a lot of shells. I don't know why. Nice and clear here this morning. comes the sun just starting to pop up over the trees beautiful Absolute paradise out here this morning. I love just walking along, listening to the sounds of the waves.
There's our friend Barbara up there. We'll check in with her a little later, Barbara Grove. Let's stop and say hi to her. morning. Doing a live feed on Facebook. Oh, a live video feed. No, just whenever my schedule allows it. Of the beach. Of the beach. Walking along, letting people listen to the waves, looking for that shells. Was so cool. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, good for you. You can look for Southwest Florida Television on Facebook. What's it called? Southwest Florida Television. SWF TV. SWFL, Southwest Florida Television. Right to that, huh? Yep, I'm on, on Facebook. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Very quiet out here this morning. Not seeing a lot of shells along the beach. I'm walking just offshore in about, oh, a foot of water. It's absolutely beautiful out here. I'm hoping I get lucky maybe and find one shark's tooth out here. They're all over the place and I just can never spot them out here in the water. I pick up everything but shark's teeth. You got all these little stones like this that look like shark's teeth when you see them in the water. But I cannot find the shark's teeth. And I know they're here. I'm walking right by them. I probably walked by dozens of them already. That one couple, the gentleman I was talking to yesterday, said he found, they found 21 the other day. 21 shark's teeth in one day. That's just incredible. Let's see, you see these, these stones like that, and they're very deceiving when you see them in the water. They have the same basic shape of a shark's tooth. I haven't seen Roy yet. I know he's here. I saw his car in the parking lot. Must be up at Wiggins Pass still. Oh, I think I see a dolphin. Yep, a couple dolphins right offshore here. Right up in here. See which way they're coming. Looks like they might be hit going away from me. Where did they go? Just swimming offshore up here. Two of them looks like the mama and the baby. See if I can zoom in a little bit. 
right out in here. Yeah, they're swimming out, darn it. Whoops. See them out there? See if they come up again. Where did they go? There's one of them. They're pretty far offshore there. Way out there. Darn it, take him in for a second. That was just too far away from him. They're just kind of bouncing around out there. might come back. I'll keep my eyes peeled for him out there. I don't know where they went. And it swam out offshore into the Gulf. Gorgeous Monday morning here at Del Norwegens. Here's a neat little kitten's paw shell. I'm gonna save this one. That's a really nice looking little kitten's paw. Part of an old, there's an old jewel box shell. The jewel box, part of one. Sky, huh? Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. black scallop shells down there. That's a little one. Look at that one. That's a beauty. A little black scallop.
Walked out into the water here. Looking south down the beach here towards Naples. The sun definitely is coming up now. Where did all our shells go? Where did all of our seashells go? broken shells on the beach this morning. Little broken shells. Little, little pieces of shells. How clear that water is. Wow. group of pelicans flying by. They're so neat to watch. They just hover above the water, just skim above the water. It's so neat. Slowly making our way north here along the beach. Up towards Wiggins Pass.
Here's another black scallop. Those are so neat looking. This one's kind of chipped up. They're so neat, those black scallops. Just amazed. We're not really seeing a lot of shells along the beach this, this morning. Just all broken shells. Yeah. That is an entire slipper shell. Look at that. Both halves, it looks like, of a slipper shell. Pretty neat. That's cool. It's hard to walk along some of these on these broken shells here in bare feet. Good morning. You looking for a fishing partner? <laughs> Female fishing partner. Female fishing partner. There you go. Go that'd out be west. Funny. Go to Yellowstone, catch some lake trout. And oh boy, that'd be fun, trout. huh? There you go. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we get any bites there. <laughs> oh no, you're not posted. <laughs> Supposed to be between you and me. Uh oh, now the whole world knows. <laughs> Are we live? Uh huh. <laughs> hey, Rob. Roy, how are you doing this morning? Wonderful, wonderful. Old Mike, the fisherman, he's around the corner. Mike's up there? there? Is yeah. he all the way down at the end? Well, just halfway down. Oh, okay. He's there with a couple of neighbor boys. The other day, the camera kept going off on me up there. We really? were talking, yeah. Huh. I'll see if I can make it around there. See, Barbara's just set up her stuff there. Oh, did she? Yep. Oh, good. That's she's right. Here. Monday today. Yeah. Oh, good. I don't know how many more Mondays she's got left. 
I don't, I don't know when. She, I don't know when she's going to take off. This could be it. I'm not sure. We'll check with her. But I'll be down there. I'm, let me keep walking up here, and I'll come back down there and chat with you and Barb. Hey, wonderful. All right. That'd be great. Everything good today, though? Yeah, everything's just absolutely wonderful. Getting Couldn't some, be better. Getting some hugs. Huh? Getting any hugs this bugs, morning? Yeah, bugs and hugs. Bugs and hugs. There's bugs out there today. Well, the no see them when I came through the woods. Oh, really? Yeah. But I got some good hugs and. And so everything's wonderful. Awesome. I'm had glad a good to time with Mike. He's there with the two neighbor boys. They catching anything up there? No, they got a bottom bass. A what? A bottom bass. What is that? Well, he called it a rock bass. Oh, a bass. A <laughs> no, it was it's a, a rock, 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 rock bass. bass. I yeah. got you. That's about all they caught. That's funny. I call it a bottom bass. Did you see the dolphins? Yeah, he was right out in the stream, right in yeah. front of us. Both he of stayed, them. He stayed right there. Oh, okay. Up and down. I yeah. saw a couple here, but they didn't hang around long. No, that was right out in the, in the stream, right, right in front of the boys there. So that was nice. Wow. They might be back by us. They might be back by later this morning. So yeah, that's wonderful. We can go swimming with them. Yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> All right, bro. I'll, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, great. Think about, think about some uh, advice for us. Profound, this, profound. Something profound, yeah, for us this morning. I'll give us some thoughts. It's going to have to last for a while. I. I don't think I'll be out for another three or four days, so it's really? got to be something good to keep What's us happening? going. Your Just, cab running out of gas? Yeah, can't yeah. afford my to put gas in my car to come out here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you'll got, be back out. Oh yeah, I got. But we need something that'll sustain us for three or four days. So really, it's got to be a good one. Sustenance. Well, I'll give it some thought. Okay. There are a lot of good, good, interesting things around. So. All right, looking forward to hearing it. And just what we have to do is observe all the interesting things. I think that's the, the word of the day is going to be observe. You think? But we're not sure. we got to keep everybody in suspense. Well, I, I believe that's going to be uh, All right, well, I'll come back and we'll talk about that. Observe. Yep. Absolutely. I'm going to observe you right now. <laughs> we're, it's so interesting in observing everything. Isn't it, though? Yeah, that's what we do every morning. I'll see. I'll be all, up there in a little while to talk with you. All right, I'll be back there. Yep. Good old Roy. I am trying to find a cool shell with a hole in it here that I can hang on the tree. Yeah, here's a nice conch shell, an old fighting conch. Let me walk along and see if I find anything else close by here. Oh, there's part of a big whelk shell. Wow. Look at that. That would have been a nice whelk to find. Where's the rest of it? If you're just joining us, we're up at Del Norwegans Pass State Park in North Naples. We're up at the north end of the park, up by Wiggins Pass. Just walking the beach, doing a little beach combing, seeing if we find anything interesting. It's been kind of a slow morning, Monday morning. Seen a lot of our common shells, our scallops. Tur or one of our turkey wing shells. Saw Roy. He said Fisherman Mike was up here. We haven't seen Mike in a, in ages. Love to go check in with him. Beautiful morning here. I just want to take this fighting conch, what's left of a fighting conch, and hang it on the shell tree. Looks like a heart when you look at it there. I'm gonna go back.
back a little bit to this shell tree over here. Ooh, here's something I want to put back in the water before I do that. Didn't notice him. I was talking to Roy here before. Little nine-armed sea star washed up on the beach. Looks like he had lost a couple of his arms. They're starting to grow back. The little nine-armed sea star. See how they grow? The arms start growing back. There's one that's just broken off recently. He's still alive. I'm just gonna set him back out in the water. Actually, there might be some eggs coming out there. Maybe poop, who knows? <laughs> the little nine-armed sea star. Fairly common here at Del Norwegans. I'm just gonna sit this little guy back out in the water. Hopefully he won't wash back up on the beach. Hard to see him down there. Head over to the shell tree. I just I want to hang this one shell here. This fighting conch, what's left of a fighting conch. I want to hang this for my friend and business partner who just passed away on Friday. My good friend JP Thies. God bless. May he rest in peace. He is definitely happy now. That shell is for you, JP. I know he's having fun now. Passed away on Friday. Sure that folks just bear with me for one minute all right so a lot of folks hang shells on these trees in memory of a loved one that's passed away some hang a shell and they make a wish some hang a shell and say a prayer but the majority of these shells were hung in memory of a loved one that passed away. There's several of these trees up here at the north end of the park. Feel free to add a Wow. We had a major disconnect there. Thank you, Sprint. Your service is so reliable. We were just checking out the shell tree there. I was saying there's quite a few, there's several of those shell trees up along the beach here at the north end. There's the one we just hung some shells on right over there. Oh, JP, I miss JP. What a good friend. What a, JP was a great guy. I don't know how many of you know JP. But we were business partners here at Southwest Florida Television for oh, probably five years. And he passed on Friday. He had a heart of gold.
He'd do anything he could to help people. The only person he never helped was himself. It finally caught up to him. These old tree stumps are completely uncovered. Their root system by Hurricane Irma. The stumps have been here for quite a while. Irma did knock that tree down over there. There's actually a couple trees piled up there. A couple of sea grape trees. You can see some folks have added some shells to this one as well. well let's get out to the pass and check in with Fisherman Mike. It's been a while since we've seen him. Let's see if he's catching anything. Wow, there's a lot of fishermen up there. I don't know how well our signal's going to do up here. Yesterday kept dropping out on us. Don't know what's up with that. It's beautiful out here. Beautiful clear morning. Why would the internet connection be dropping out the Wi-Fi? Oh, here's a cool looking fossil here. Some fossilized shells in this rock here. Look at that. See that seashell in there? Can you see it there? In... That is really cool. I'll put that in my pocket and maybe give it to my friends, Mike and Mary. I don't know. That's probably, they probably have tons of them like this. But see, there's more than seashells here. There's some really cool fossils you can find along the beach. That's a neat one. The Mossy Ark. We find a lot of them on the beach, the mossy arc shells. Spin around here. Get a little light on it from the other side. That's a mossy arc. And another common shell. See if we can find the jewel box. See if I can find a jewel box along here. They're usually pretty prolific along the beach here. Of course, when I want to find something, I never do. It never fails me. I'll say there's lots of this, lots of that, and then when I go to find one, I don't find one. Very, very typical for my beach walks. Happens all the time. The slipper shells, the jewel box shells, the turkey wings, the mossy arcs, the scallops, all common shells along the beach. Actually, this morning, we haven't been seeing a lot of shells on the beach. It's almost like somebody came and swept them all into the gulf last night. Very, very small piece. Usually can find some bigger chunks of it almost crystallized got it that's neat there's a little turkey wing shell right there you can just make out the stripes on it there the turkey wing Another little kitten's paw. The kitten's paw. Pretty obvious why that's called a kitten's paw. At least I hope it would be obvious. There's something neat. Look at this shell, how worn out, worn it is. 
piece of an old clam shell. Almost looks like coral. Those critters actually drill into the shell. Man, neat. Gorgeous out here. Here's a little tiny scallop shell. Or no, that looks like maybe that's a little cockle shell. Look at that. A little tiny baby cockle. Lots of mossy arc shells up here at the north end. Quite a few of them. Lots of mossy arcs up here this morning. There's a little tiny black scallop. Good morning. There's a little black scallop. Make our way around here up towards the pass. Let's see where Fisherman Mike is at. A lot of fishermen up here this morning. Beautiful morning. It's no wonder. Beautiful up here. Photographer taking some pictures of the birds. Wow. There's a nice little pile of shells up here. There's something good in there. Just gotta get down and look close. I don't know why our connection is so bad up here. See you later. There's a nice little fighting conch shell. The Florida fighting conch. It's a nice little specimen right there. Remember, we always check inside, make sure there's nothing alive inside the shells before we take them home. Here's another one. He's washed up on the beach. Another fighting conch. This is just kind of buried in the sand. It's a nice shell. You rinse the sand off it. Really nice shell. Look at that. Beautiful. It's got some barnacles up on the top. It's a beautiful Florida fighting conch shell. Nobody home, so you could take it home as a souvenir. There's nothing inside there. There's a nice little 
little piece of finger coral. Come on, focus. Focus, focus out here. That's up with the focus. Hang on a sec. There we go. Focus on the fishermen out here. Out in Wiggins Pass. A couple little snowy egrets here. Waiting. They just kind of hang around. They wait for the fishermen to catch something, and then they try to steal it, or they try to steal their bait. The little snowy egrets, beautiful birds. See if I can zoom in on this one. Just trying to zoom in on this little snowy egret before the connection dropped out. I don't know what's going on here. Our signal keeps freezing up here at Wiggins Pass. Locking up on me. Never had that happen before. Darn it. Oh well. What do we got down here? Oh, nothing. Some worm rock over here. A couple of chunks of worm rock. Stuff is so cool to look at up close. The worm rock. I don't know if I'm gonna make it around to Mike here without losing our signal. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get around the corner of the pass. Worm tip shell, the tip of a wormy shell, a wormy tip. There's times where you can find these all over the beach. Another little fighting conch shell out in the water. There's a piece of a banded tulip shell right there. Just the end, just the core of it of a banded tulip. Those are beautiful shells, the banded tulips. See a little of the color on the top of it there. And there's that fighting conch shell. Fishermen heading out. Some commercial fishermen, a commercial fisherman. It's Barefoot Beach over on the other side of the pass there. Beautiful beach. That's run by the county, that's a county park. There's a little slipper shell. Show you that slipper shell, I'll follow this boat for a minute. Here's that little slipper shell. The reason they call these slipper shells is when you turn it over, see it kind of looks like a little slipper. That little chamber there, it's like a little slipper. A little bedroom slipper, the slipper shell. Very smooth on the outside. See if we can make it around to 
Fisherman Mike here, and then head back down the beach. Check in with Barbara Grove and Roy. That sun's bright. Morning. Back around here, out the pass. Beautiful morning out here. A new bait boy. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Teaching him how to, uh, how to, the how to cast out there. Yep. Good morning. How's he doing? Uh, actually, really, I mean, this is only be the third time he's thrown it, so he's actually doing really good. Yeah, it takes a little practice oh, there yeah. to get it out. And... Is, there any, is there any fish out there? Any bait fish? Oh, oh okay. You got something here or no? Oh. Uh, feeding uh, birds. There's. We do have one keeper uh, sheephead. You got a sheephead this morning? We're up at the north end of the beach with Fisherman Mike. Our signal just keeps dropping out here. It's terrible. Let's see if I can hold the connection here, it keeps dropping out on oh, us. Really? Yeah, we're getting pretty far north for you. Oh yeah, that's a nice sheep's head yeah. there. Wow, you're tasty, that's huh? Ken's catch. Oh, you caught that one, Ken? Mm -hmm. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. This is the, the first fish of the season. They're on spring break, so they can... Uh... Oh, that's right, yep. Our kids are just going back to school down here today. Oh, okay. Yep. He's doing pretty good with that cast net back there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, He's getting I, just, it out there. I, I just showed him, and now yeah. that I told him. So what have you been up to? Well, haven't seen you. We just had, well, I don't come down when there's, you know, I, I come down like once a month when people yeah, kind of like, crazy. <laughs> you know, not for hire, but I, I bring, you know, other families down right. here. And I was down a week ago, Tuesday, when it was really cold. Oh, yeah, it was freezing. But there were people from Minnesota, that was the only day they could, they could fish. Ah. But a nine-year-old was down here, and he cut five fish. Which oh, was, wow. That, that made was, his vacation. That was the key to get yeah. him to catch some fish. Yeah, that made his trip. Yeah. And uh, we just had company staying with us from Minnesota. And, uh, you know, our season for guests, we, we tell people, April <laughs> starts for us. Because we tell them, don't come to April. April? Yeah. April, May, June, we have guests. Okay, that makes sense. Well, we, we can do anything After, we want then. Yeah, and Easter's so early this year. Yeah, but we can do anything we want then. Yeah. I mean, you can go to any restaurant. You, you can go. Here you go. Oh. Fish on. Oh. Ooh, we got our signal back. Just as you got a fish on the line. I love it. All right. Let's see what you got yeah. there. Another sheephead once he gets in. Another sheephead. Oh, look at this guy back here checking it out. Oh yeah. Look well, at the sight. Look at that. A beautiful great blue heron. Oh yeah, he come running. He come look running. Look at that beautiful bird. We were at uh, I was at uh Wow. Uh Santa Bell. Beautiful. And I seen one of those eat uh a ladyfish. Or not a ladyfish, it was uh, a mullet. There it comes. There, we're back now. See how long it holds. I want to see that fish Mike caught, that sheephead. Well, it's short, but it's the teeth that they need to see. Yeah. It's not a keeper? No, it's, it's a little it's small. Under, under 12. But look at this. Look at the teeth on this fish here. Look at the teeth. That's a sheep's there, head. And I'll look down in his mouth. Oh, wow. Look at the teeth on that thing. Holy smokes. Because they just, they get it stuff in there and crush it. Yeah. Wow. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Oops. 
Our cell phone connection with Sprint is just horrible today. Absolutely horrible. Very disappointing service. I hope somebody from Sprint's watching. Because today your service is trash. <laughs> But that was pretty cool, that sheep's head that Mike caught out there. And that beautiful blue heron that was watching behind us. Look at all the birds out here in the pass. Pelicans everywhere, just on the other side of the pass. with me here. I'm going to try and take a photo without losing my connection. Hopefully we're back here. It's gorgeous. Well, let's head down back towards Roy and Barbara Grove. See how they're doing. A lot of fishermen out there this morning. Oh, that's all right. How are you? Uh, Sue, hi Sue. Yeah, yeah, hi Sue. How are you? One of our one of our Facebook friends. Wave Sue. Hi. Say hi <laughs> from at New my York. Best. <laughs> what the heck? We're at the beach. That's exactly. It's the wind blown look. It's <laughs> that's what I tell myself. Yep. That's I just awesome. love watching the fishermen. Oh yeah. And the pelicans going nuts. Did you see any dolphins? Not coming up this okay. morning. Okay. They've they've made their pass already once, once. They'll, they'll be they'll, they'll be, be back, back. i'm yep. glad to see them after the red tide oh now. yeah see yep it's great to see them. yeah good luck and have fun the rest of you are this is wonderful <laughs> thanks for coming out oh no no i don't have it today and I oh I, I will catch up with you through roy. oh you're I so was, sweet i was visiting roy <laughs> oh he's a trip yeah i'm on my way back down there to see roy yeah. i'm gonna take a quick there Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Went into the selfie mode. Did you meet Barbara? I the didn't stop lady? to see her yeah. today, but I've seen She's her. She's going to be leaving day. us soon. Oh, yeah. like us. Sue, nice meeting you. It was nice yep. to see you. Have a great day. Yes, and thank you for doing this oh. for everyone so they can enjoy it like we Oh, do. thank you for watching and enjoying. Love it. Uh, it's just taking advantage of a Kodak moment there. Taking a quick photo as that boat went by, sorry. <laughs> we gotta get moving here. Hey, good morning, how are you today? It's a nice little line of shells right along here. If you want to get out here before the tide comes in and covers them all up. Boy, a lot of people out here fishing this morning. Beautiful. Up at Wiggins Pass here. Beautiful. We're up in the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Heading south now. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Good, Good luck this morning. <laughs> Another one of our local fishermen. It's too bad that the connection was so bad earlier here at the, when I went around the corner. Fisherman Mike was down there all the way, all the way down around the corner there, Wiggins Pass. We got a sheep's head while we we're there, but the signal kept cutting out. There's also a beautiful great blue heron down there behind us, checking out our catch. Isn't that beautiful? That is just gorgeous this morning. I think I have to take a picture of that. I'm sorry, bear with me. Beautiful colors now. This gorgeous blue sky. 
Temperature's gonna be up around 81 today, incredible. Look at these guys trying to steal the bait here. You gotta keep your bait bucket covered or these little snowy egrets will get in there. They're little bandits. Water is absolutely gorgeous here. Nice and clear. What a beautiful view up here this morning. It's picture perfect out here. All we need now are a few dolphins to swim by. All right, I gotta get moving here. Roy's got something profound for us, he said this morning. We wanna see Barbara grow. She's gonna be leaving us soon. Gonna miss having Barbara out on the beach with her shells. But that wind's hitting me right in the face now. I hung for JP in memory of our good friend JP Thies. Miss you, buddy. Let me take another photo of that. Sorry about that. Let's keep moving down the beach. Beautiful Monday morning. Great start to our work week here. Beautiful colors. Look at the colors out there this morning. Gorgeous.
Sorry, I keep stopping to take photos. Sorry about that. Looking north, we're up in Area 5, up in North Naples, Florida, at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Picture perfect morning here. This incredible blue sky. You can see all the erosion we've had. Plus a lot of beach here over the past several weeks. That water is just beautiful, nice and clear.
our little piece of paradise here in North Naples. I see somebody's up with our friend Roy taking his picture. He's our beach celebrity here. Ah, that's funny. Let's go check in and see what's up over here. Look up and smile, Roy. Roy, look up and smile at the camera. <laughs> well, before my time. <laughs> Funny. Oh. Did you get a picture of him? <laughs> Was he looking at you? <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. Who knows? <laughs> Barbara, Barbara, how are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Hold on a second, let me get my equilibrium going here. Oh, that was funny. Roy, right, you were having a good old time there, huh? Oh, that was. Look at all these pretty girls to be with. I'll tell you what, Barbara here, who we're gonna lose here. Yeah, yes. one more That is Monday, so sad. Yes. One more Monday. You're gonna... One more Monday, I'll be here, and then time to head up to Minnesota. I uh, miss the snow so much. Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get on your skis and snowshoes. Uh, oh no, I'd, I'd rather. So we can. One week, one more week, next Monday, everybody, next come Monday. out here. You can see Barb's shell collection. You can ask her your questions about shells here from 8 to 10.30. I think so. 8 to 10.30 next Absolutely. Monday. And then she's gone. She's deserting us. She's going to leave us high and dry. Except all my friends have been inviting me to come down. I think I may have wrapped up another season down here next year. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw Karen and Tom the other day, and that's great. I mean, that was awesome how everything worked out. Everything there. worked yeah. out beautifully. Yeah. This this has been a wonderful experience. The beach, Naples, yeah. Florida. Okay. Hey, well, we, I, I I don't want to say everybody come down because so far everybody's coming down. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna run out of space down here. Exactly. But I'll tell you, they'll always have a treat here at Wiggins. It, Isn't it, that the there's truth? There's no other place I know in the world. I know there's a lot of beaches in the world. Yeah. Well, you're part of the treat here, Barbara. She I'm, is part I'm, of the treat. That's I'm for sure, fixture. Roy. I'm, I'm a fixture. A fixture here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a good fixture if you're a fixture. I appreciate that. I mean, well, and I'm going to watch you all the time while I'm up north. And I'll, I'll cry. I'll have a little tear oh, coming down. I bet. Know. I I can imagine. <laughs> No, it's oh. been a wonderful, a one, a 20 years. 20, 20 years, years you've been down here? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh and um, wonderful, some of the best 20 years of my entire life, and I appreciate it. Well, you've definitely given me an education. I appreciate that. <laughs> Without you, I wouldn't have anything to talk about when I'm picking the I don't stuff. think so. I don't think that's true, but I'll have to, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the credit. There you go. I'll take the credit. I know when you told me you hadn't had a crown conch. Yep. And suddenly you found a crown conch. There so you go. So I guess you had something to do with that. You were rewarded. Yes, you were. <laughs> and I've had such wonderful people drop by. And yep. and um, and I always count the wows. 
you know, if I can tell yeah. them something like like the red bearded sponge and, yeah. and the wow factor of the red bearded yeah. sponge and all the when I when I show the all the egg cases from yeah. the lightning whelks and the oh, horse yeah. conks. Lightning whelks. And then yeah. I can I can show everybody what came out of those yeah. when I dried them and I the little baby. These are the little horse conks. Little baby horse conks. Isn't that something? Those are little tiny baby. And cells. they're perfect. Every one of them is absolutely yeah. perfect. They come out of this. This thing they, right here. They came out of that one there. You don't always find them. You find them on the beach here. But a lot of times you don't find the shells. You don't find yeah. the shells on the inside. No, that's very, very true. And they grow up, those little tiny things grow up into those beautiful oh, shells yeah. right there. And, and it grows something. into this lovely, beautiful horse lovely conch. horse conch. I would say this one was probably 25 or 26 years old. It's That's hard amazing. to tell. It depends on the um, on the environment and the food that they get right. in the ocean. And it's another reason for keeping the oceans as clean as possible. You got that right. Uh -huh, for all of the, the creatures. So, wow. and, and this one has a special, this has, this is a rope. That was actually made by the um, animal in the shell, and wow. it was to attach to something. Oh wow! And oh, right. you don't find that very often. Uh, now, now, that is neat. Shall, shall I tell you where I found this? <laughs> sure. Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. In a I'm store? A, I'm a shell. <laughs> no, no, at a garage sale. Oh wow! For a dollar. Wow. But it just goes to show that that someone was down here. They enjoyed the shells, probably bought one. Mm -hmm. I don't think they probably found this one around here and took it up there and then I became the shell rescuer. There you go. So I bring shells home. Another one that came from Minnesota is this one, which is a crown conch. And it's the largest one I've seen. Yeah, that's huge. And I bought, got it at a garage sale. Wow. People don't know what to do with their shells when they get them home. No, they don't. What should they do with them? Uh, wait till I get there. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's I'm funny. Taking, I'm taking part of my collection with me up to Minnesota, and and I will just share that with a lot of folks up there. Well, there you go. I will. Well, I do. I we do it. have a couple of videos of you out here on YouTube. You know, I put them on YouTube. People can watch them there. Yes. They've and seen. There's a couple there. I've had a lot of response, and yeah. not not just from people in this country. Really? But from other countries too. Really? So, wow. And I've met some of my really good friends that uh, is because, you know, they saw me on, on your program <laughs> oh, and they saw great. you and they know you and they know Roy. Oh, old Roy there. Everybody knows the mayor of Del Nor Wiggins over there. <laughs> I'm going to miss him. He's been kind of my my partner here on the, on the beach there you go, this yeah. year and, and um, I'm going to miss him. We're gonna miss you. That's yeah, for sure, we're Barb. Sure gonna miss you, Barb. Yeah. You won't have us. You won't have us a du singing duo, will you? you no. Have, he'll find somebody. That I was, know. I will. think we need another song. <laughs> that was like that was a treat. For our, my sunshine, my only sunshine. Come on in, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, I love it. You Only guys, you are, are, you are our sunshine, the two of you. I'll tell you what. Uh, Roy's gotten wound up now. No cares have I to grieve me. No pretty little girls to deceive me. I'm as happy as a lark. Be we hear me as I go rolling, rolling home, rolling home, rolling home, rolling home, rolling home, rolling home. By the light of the silvery moon. Happy is the day when the baby is Oh, Roy, you guys are great. That's so cute. Oh, uh, you know, the, 
this whole environment just spurs joy. Doesn't, Doesn't it? it? How can you yeah. not come out to this beach and be happy? And be happy and, and, and share and just the sounds and the, and the air. and That's it's, what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And you know today, there's been an unusual number of birds here and I often say yeah, there aren't just many birds here anymore as there used to be. And I have to say today, today there was a lot of them. A lot of, and pelicans. different kinds of yeah, birds and pelicans and ruddy turnstones and, and the little little the little ones that look like they have little wheels for right. you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're so cute. So you know, be people come sometimes and, and they take one visit and they say, Oh, it isn't like it used to be. But you have to come over and over exactly. and over it's again. It's different every day, every morning. It's different, different and you'll find different treasures every day and uh, it's it's so special. It is. You can tell. Oh yeah, I'm so passionate about it. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're gonna miss the, the oh. beach, and the beach is gonna miss you. Believe me. I'm gonna watch you every chance I get. Oh, I love I it. Really oh, Roy, you had a something profound for us. You're gonna share real quick. Do you, did you forget what it was? <laughs> Observation. Observation was our word for the day. Observation. Well, you what is the, 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 the glory and the joy of life is observing everything. You observe all the glory of nature, all nature, the creations, you observe them. You observe the birds and you observe the sunrises, you observe sunsets, you see the water, the waves washing in, and, and all your dear friends, all this is your observing in life and it, it glorifies your life and expands your life and when you observe everything that goes on and then of course you observe th some things that are dangerous like the other cars on the road <laughs> yeah <laughs> a lot of them lately yeah yeah, yeah you'd be sure uh, pretty to soon observe, those and observe the believing be cautious so Observation is a, is a big thing in life. Absolutely. Without that, do I, uh, you wouldn't uh, know what's going on. You wouldn't see the glory of it. Might as well go live under a rock. Yeah. So that's, that's the word, is keep observing. Yeah. You observe friends and you observe goofy things that might happen, like him <laughs> just tipping over his wagon. Uh, that happens, <laughs> you know? And there's a lot of really enjoyable things that you can observe, and of course, yeah. Observing all your friends is one of the most enjoyable things of all. I know we have fun observing you. <laughs> and you know, just, and you don't necessarily have to do it with your eyes, because there's some people that can't observe by their point. eyes, yeah. Yeah. but they can observe by feeling and by hearing. And this is something the beach offers all the time. And appreciating your friends yeah. and, and yeah. being observant that, that is way. So true, right? yeah. yeah, so there's no limit to, to being able to observe. No. We're observing all Barb's unique shells. Yeah, observing all her shells down here. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of things to observe. Yeah. Well, that's a good one, Roy. And I guess tomorrow the wind is going to blow and the waves will be crashing. There'll be a lot to observe. There, there you go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, thank you, Roy, Barbara. Gosh, I'm going to do my best to get out here and see you one last time next Monday. Everybody, is your last chance next Monday morning okay. to see Barbara. Okay, hop a plane from Hamburg, Germany, and let's see, could they get here in time? Yes, <laughs> yes. A big oh. going away party next Monday oh. for Barbara. Well, that would oh, be we're lovely. Gonna, I'll be this, here. <laughs> yep. From 8 o'clock 8 o'clock till 10.30. 10.30 Next Monday morning. morning, folks. Barb's last day here at the beach with her shells. Oh, Lord. God bless you. <laughs> and you. Thank you, Barbara. And all the, all the folks that enjoy oh. the gifts that you give everyone. It, it's, um, yeah, oh, right. I just provide the means. You guys bring, give bring the gifts. <laughs> You're the gift. <laughs> I just provide the conduit. <laughs> all right. I'll see you all later. Bye. Hopefully I'll do my best, Barbara, to get out here next Monday. Thank Either you way. so much. Oh, great people. Such wonderful people. Roy and Barbara. This beach is so just so full of great people. More people coming up to see Barbara and Roy.
Roy the star of the beach. Wow. Hey guys, how you doing today? Good, hey. I was, just found a, just a, where did I see? I had a little shell. You're finding them. Well, it had a little fossil. It had a, somewhere it had. Right there. Yeah. Yep, had a little shell and buried in it. Yeah. there and there. That one's a nice one right yep. there. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Yeah, now he's going to make oh, this oh. look like a joke. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I pulled this out a little while ago. Look at that. What a beautiful. Isn't that incredible? Look at all those shells embedded in there. Wow. All different times. Yeah. make a big paperweight out of That is a beautiful <laughs> fossil. What's on any on the other? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Look and at this that. one even has the, um, already they've been calcified. Oh, wow. There. That and that's is fun. so and there's cool. there's another one over here that's gotten calcification. That yeah, with the so sun cool. shining on it. You yeah, really you can really that. see that. Yeah. That is beautiful. Isn't that one cool? Wow. It was back up there where all the heavy stones are. That is and I just saw this incredible right there, there and those thought, shells oh, in there. This is a fun one. That is a beautiful find. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful. One? <laughs> Isn't that one fun? Mike and Mary. Good one. Hey, shark's teeth today? Nah. Yeah. No. Somebody found 21 yesterday. It was a good day yesterday. Yeah. We found about four or five. Wow. Really they found big. one like that. Huge. Wow. Yeah. yeah. A huge good. one. Me, zero. <laughs> See you guys. Mike and Mary from New Jersey. They're into fossil hunting along the beach. And as you can see, they can find some pretty neat ones. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining me on this beautiful Monday morning. Look at that water. Absolutely gorgeous. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time checking out my photos and videos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. Remember, nobody pays me to come out here doing this. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps. It helps pay the phone bill. It keeps gas in the car so I can come out here. One more look around on this absolutely gorgeous Monday morning. Here comes some pelicans flying right by us. Look at that beautiful blue sky. Wow, that is so cool. So beautiful. Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples. A mile of white sandy beach. Unspoiled white sandy beach. No homes or condos here. Take you out into the water for one last look here. Look how beautiful and clear it is. Wow, there's me. Hey, everybody. What a morning. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, for Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.